Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to make your flare connections for the line set connections on a mini split unit. So we're going to be using tubing cutters, reamers, flaring tool, torque wrench, and nylog. I'm going to take you step by step through the process right here, and we're going to go ahead and start up on the outside wall where our copper tubing is extended out from the indoor head unit. Now we're going to need these two nuts in order to flare these two tubes right here. So we're going to go ahead and take those off. I'm going to put a little tape over these two. I'm not going to put uh, the adhesive part of the tape on the ends, but I just want to cover them up so I don't get humid air inside. So I just go around twice and then I turn it clockwise maybe about a quarter turn or a little less. You don't want to indent the copper as you're doing this or you're going to have more to ream. So there's one and let's go ahead and do this one. Before you forget you want to make sure that you get your caps on uh, before you um, put them into the flare block and after you ream the tubing. There we go. I like to use uh, this style reamer instead of my stick reamer, at least for flaring. I do like my stick reamer for, for when I'm doing breeze joints, but I do prefer this style reamer for when I'm doing flares so that I, I don't end up scarring the flare seat inside. Uh, even when I'm really careful, sometimes I do end up doing it, so I just I just stick with this one. that's good. I don't see any uh, any shards sticking out. You see I have them tilted downwards so that all these little copper pieces here they all end up falling out of the tube instead of inside the tube. Alright, we're good to go. I like to end up putting a little bit of nylog right on my flaring tool. Right here, this is an eccentric flaring tool, so if you see it spinning around in the inside, the point of that is, is so that it can exert pressure on one side of the tube at a time, and it's just easier to turn, and uh, there's less uh, friction on the copper tubing, less chance for it to mar, all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of nylog on here. Uh, you can use refrigerant oil or nylog uh, in order to just make it a barrier between this and the, the copper so it slides and doesn't scar this or the copper tubing. Just like that. Let's do our small tube first. So we're going to slide this all the way back. We're going to put our tube in. This is quarter inch, quarter inch ACR tubing. And we're going to want it to stick out about 3 sixteenths of an inch for the, uh, for the quarter inch. So that's about there, right there. 
line these two up right here see this knob with the copper tube and it should fall right into the slot and this is the only thing that you need to do in order to tighten this up and you just come right in so you can see it right in there and this is extending you'll see once it's once it's tight you hear a click and that's it and you can't go any further so it doesn't mess the flare up I actually like these versus the ratcheting ones but everybody has their preference and there's also other uh, flaring tools for mini splits that basically it's going to align the copper tubing for the required depth so that you get a nice wide flare every time I usually just do it like this and uh, you just want to take up the full seat inside of the uh, the flare knot in order to make a good connection so there's your flare you see right there so we actually are taking up the full distance and I can actually just screw this and see now there's now there's room right there so we're good I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of uh, of nylog right on here and also the other seal uh, up on the copper tubing next to the siding before we go ahead and tighten this in. This is half inch ACR. And right about three sixteenths or so once again a little bit, just a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. Alright, so that's lined up. Hopefully you can see that. It's really not that hard to turn so you know I, I really really like this tool um, in reference to to doing flaring if you ever use the older conventional one um, they are they are a struggle <laughs> oh. so as you can see right here the copper tubing is uh, it's nice it's not scarred up or anything and it's the full flare seat right here I can actually just go ahead and turn it like this and and now we're in all right so I'm going to go ahead and put some nylog on this before we make our connection now you want to get a little nylog and put it on the flare you don't need a whole lot just enough just a little bit we'll put a little bit more on that one You just want to make sure that you're not getting it in the inside of the, the tube, that's all. Alright, we're ready to go ahead and assemble our joints. This right here is half inch tubing. So we are looking for a foot poundage of 36 to 42 foot pounds. So we're going to have that set right there. If we want to adjust it, we can turn this, but we are already set on 40. So we're going to go ahead with that and let's go ahead and put this joint together. I have seen some of their other manuals calling for up to about 46 foot pounds, but we're just going to go ahead and, and put it at about 40, 42. That's it right there you heard the click that's it now we're going to go ahead and adjust our torque wrench down to this is calling for 10 to 13 
foot pounds for the quarter inch tubing. And then we're also going to have to change the head out. So we're going to use our number 17 wrench right here. This is the yellow jacket torque wrench. And we just go ahead and press right here and take this out. And we'll put this one in. So you know we already have this set right here. We set it at 11. That's it right there. You can hear it clicking. So that's as hard as we tighten. Now let's head down to the outdoor unit. So now we're back down here. We're just going to go ahead and mark out our tubing. So we have this torque wrench set at 11 foot-pounds. So we're just going to go ahead and turn this until we hear our click. Try to hold the valve a little bit. I know it's screwed in, but there you go. You hear the click. So that's as tight as you need to make it. And now we're going to go ahead and switch this tip out with our larger tip. Now we just want to adjust our foot-pounds back up again. So we want to go up to right about 40. All right, just a little above 40 right there. Hopefully you can hear that. That's as tight as you want to make it. So now that these are tight, we're going to go ahead and pressure test the system through this port right here with the nitrogen, and we're going to see if that drops in pressure at all. And we're going to do that for about 10 minutes. But that's how that's how you connect your your flare fittings on your copper tubing for mini split systems. If you're looking for any of the tools used in this video, I have them all linked down in the comment and description sections below. And if you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.